Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Motivational Mondays. That's right, I'm on my way. I'm here in this centro, as you guys can see. You know, there's all kinds of shit everywhere. All kinds of people, all kinds of everything. And I'm on my way, you know, back home right now. Um, what was I doing a few minutes before I started recording this? Well, I was uh, hanging out with my girlfriend out here. It's Monday afternoon, it's like 1, 1, 1 30 in the afternoon. And um, I came out here a little earlier you know, to just uh, run some errands. And she said, oh, I'm gonna be down there as well. I gotta run a few errands, so, well, you know, we'll just hang out together. So that, that's, that's what's causing all the traffic. But anyways, I already recorded a little bit of an intro, but then I had like a little card error, and uh, now we're back here. But there's the, the spot shop I was just at right now. And um, even though I love that place and I go there all the fucking time, um, I had a little bit of a situation there happen, you know, just a few minutes ago. And, um, you know, my girlfriend was just telling me, he's like, hey, you know, why don't you just make an episode out of that situation? And so, well, that's what we're going to be doing. Because, um, you know, as I was uh, dropping her off, I was telling her, oh, yeah, I got to film another episode on my way out of here, uh, my way back home. And so um, I don't know what to talk about per se. And then she told me, oh, when you just talk about what just happened there um, and uh, we can go from there now. You know, nothing horrible happened, you know, but it was just more like, um, you know, just a bad experience. And I was like, you know what? I can turn it into a Monday motivation. By the way, this right here. That's a holistic medicine in here. This is the holistic medicine doctor. And um, yeah, so I also came here to run a few errands and grab some holistic medicine because I'm all about that. I mean, if you're out here and you can get it and it's really, really good stuff like, you know, real holistic medicine and it's not like illegal or anything like that out here, then you get it. You know, a lot of you guys that go to the organic store and go get that organic uh, anything, it's the same thing you guys are dealing with. So, but um, yeah, anyways, there's a lot of things, uh, a lot of things going on, a lot of action going on today out here. So, sorry if I'm a little distracted, but anyways, let's get to the Monday motivation situation. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I had to cut it real quick because uh, there was a lot of background music being played. And so, you know, it's just getting more and more difficult uh, to make some of these videos walking and talking um, through Ed Centro with a lot of music being played because just a few seconds of music. I'm sorry, I know I keep repeating myself with this and all the lot of videos, but it's a reality. Sometimes when you're seeing cuts or you see me doing whatever you know, um, the, yeah, the abrupt cuts, it's because of the music situation. Because again, I wanna make sure that these videos are available so that everybody can see them. And um, it's not about the monetization, it's more like about making sure that they stay around and that you guys can actually watch them as a whole. But anyways, all right, I digress. Let's get back to Monday motivation, man. I keep fucking getting distracted. So, you know, what happened was is that, you know, I, I, honestly, it, it was just this this could have happened anywhere it just so happened to happen at this store and it happened today but all that happened was it was just a bad customer service which happens all the fucking time wherever the fuck you are you know what i mean it's not like uh you know things are supposed to be perfect no matter where you go or what you do you know sometimes life happens so what was happening well i went in there you know to go and buy some blunts and uh you know, that's basically it, but my girlfriend needed to buy a few of the little trinkets. You know, like, um, they sell all kinds of things in that store, so, you know, she just wanted to buy something for her little cousin, you know, something for another family, whatever. Just a little bullshit. But as we're, you know, as as we're in there, you know, trying to see, um, you know, she wants, she's trying to purchase the things, you know, we go to the cash register, and the guy's like, oh, you know, you can't buy this because you gotta buy, like, uh, a certain amount, you gotta buy a certain amount or more, you know, you can't just buy, um, you know, I don't, you, I, I hate that so much, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, ah, sorry. A little distracted by something in the background there. Hopefully you guys didn't hear it too much. But I digress, you know what I mean? It's all part of today's episode. The point is, is this, I guess, let me, let me start off with the point of what the episode is all about. The point of today's episode is basically that shit is going to go wrong. And uh, when shit goes wrong, you got to remember that a lot of times it's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. Now, let's uh, dissect that a little bit more. But what do you mean by shit going wrong? Well, a lot of times you go to a store 
or you're dealing with somebody that is uh, you know helping you do something or you hired them for something or they're um, they're an, uh, what is it, an employee to a company or a store or something like that and so what happens is that you know a lot of times you get like uh, you know bad customer service or you know what forget the customer service aspect to it let's let's uh, let's keep it broad as possible so that you guys can understand more you know and uh, can relate more to this stuff look a lot of times in life you're gonna come across people that just suck okay and you know what do I mean by they just suck well you already know what I mean you know they have a shitty attitude they might not want to work they, they might talk to you in a certain way they might um, treat you a certain way they might whatever you know it could be anything from racism to you know um, just being uh, dumb to just being very upset to being whatever and so a lot of times you know we'll, we'll uh, go to a store we'll go to a place we'll do something and all of a sudden you know we encounter one of these individuals and after man let's walk in through here because we're walking through the theaters there's too much traffic out there we might as well check out one of the theaters here so many of them but as i was saying Look at that guy just eating a big old hunk of corn. As I was saying, when, when, uh, when you encounter one of these individuals out there that, you know, happens to be having a bad day, or they fucking yell at you, or they honk at you for no reason, or they're fucking um, whatever attitude, whatever the fuck it is that they're doing to you, you gotta, you gotta remember, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. So, if you encounter one of these sour pusses, one of these. Uh, you know horrible individuals out there you know the reality is is that it has nothing to do with you none of uh, whatever the hell they're doing has anything to do with you none, nothing as to how they're treating you has anything to do with you it has everything to do with them okay that's basically it all right let's see if we can get ahead of here and that's that's basically it we see this all the fucking time and so for example as, uh, as I was in that store, and I don't want to single, single out that store. I feel kind of bad that I recorded a little bit there. But it, because again, it can happen anywhere, and it happens everywhere and anywhere. The thing is, is this. You know, when we went in there just to do a few purchases, you know, to take care of the things that, you know, we were in there for, all of a sudden, we came across a very difficult employee. And so, to me, you know, I was a little upset, and I was showing my upsetness by... You know, just speaking a little loud, not per se at him, but just, you know, trying to keep it with, you know, in-house, you know, talking to my girlfriend about it. But my girlfriend was a little bit more upset about it. And at the end of the day, you know, once we were done, you know, um, you know, it didn't really change the result one way or the other. But because of us having control over our, our own um, attitude, having control over you know um, our own uh, our own selves and not worrying about other individuals out there it, it you know it was able to make the whole situation a lot easier to digest and again even afterwards we we're starting to talk about it and just breaking down the fact that again you know something someone like that person has nothing to do with us you know that person just probably didn't want to work that day you know that person probably just getting over a hangover you know that person probably you know his boyfriend girlfriend probably fucking broke up with him whatever the fuck you know what i mean and that's the thing and so all of a sudden he has a very shitty attitude and um that shitty attitude um seeps into everything else you know and everybody else meaning it just uh, oozes out and then other individuals out there are the ones that you know get the brunt of it so again you know um he was trying to throw that bad energy onto us but i wasn't having it you know i wasn't gonna let my girl get upset over that and um and we did it nothing you know again nothing happened except the fact that now i am here making this episode for you guys walking down merida with all this fucking noise and um you know we're making a pretty good episode i think i don't know but you know the point is is like you know we've talked about this many many times as to where you know we don't have control over our surroundings or, or over certain things that happen you know all around uh, all around us you know but we do what we do have is that we have plenty of control over ourselves we got plenty of control over what we do plenty of control over so many other things and that is what we got to focus on and that when there's other individuals out there 
that are just having a bad day or trying to make your life a living hell, ruin your life. Um, you know, and, and remember, this could be anything. This could be, you know, Johnny at work or Susan at the fucking grocery store or John or Pepe at the fucking uh, whatever the hell. You know, we encounter this shit all the time, whether it's in traffic, whether it's at work, whether it's uh, getting in line at the bus, you know, whatever it is. By the way, look how beautiful the streets are. Look how beautiful everything is. Are we going to be able to cross? All right, I think we can. And so, and so that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, it's actually your choice, you know, how, how you actually get to deal with these. And so like what, what actually happens is that every time that you out there encounter um, one of these shitty situations or shitty individuals, what ends up happening is that all of a sudden it, it ruins your day. It ruins your, your experience. All of a sudden you might go to the store. Again, I go to that store all the fucking time. And just because of the shitty customer service and the shitty individual and the shitty whatever, any other person might be like, fuck, I'm never going to go back there again. But I'm not going to let like some piece of shit retard loser that might not even be working there next week, um, you know, ruin my my experience, ruin my, you know, me going there all the time and so on and so forth. But that's the thing. And so it's all about making that that conscious decision and choice, you know, meaning. So like, what did I tell myself? I was just telling her, like, all right, let, let's just take the, the whole thing into account. You know, what I mean, you know, this this guy is just, you know, really sad. He's really um you know, not having a great day. He's probably not gonna be working there for much longer. He's probably not, you know, all of these things. And then, you know, just talking about the fact is like, listen, you know, again, if we act upon, you know, how what we wanna act upon, you know, we're most likely gonna be, um, you know, most likely gonna be, you know, yelling at him or asking for a manager or this or that or all this stuff, and all these things that are not gonna solve anything. And in fact, what they're most likely gonna do is that they're probably gonna end, uh, end up making things worse for you, the individual, the customer. Because it's, again, it's not even worth your time to complain over something that you already know deep down inside it's not gonna change, or it's not gonna, it's not gonna get fixed, it's not gonna get anything. So why waste your energy? Why waste your time? Why waste your energy? You know, all that shit. So again, I could have very easily, you know, gone off on the guy, been in, and I've been in one in the right, you know, had every every right to look at the traffic today. You know, I would have had every right, you know, to go off on the guy, to yell at him, you know, to to, to you know to, to do the demand, you know, what I was rightly Oh, which again, it wasn't much. It was just, you know, some basic bullshit shit bullshit. I'm truly trying to st keep it as vague as possible because that's not even the point. You know, the point is, is that instead of channeling that energy in a very, very negative way, which is, you know, trying to get the guy fired, you know, trying to get the, you know, save 50 cents, trying to, you know, hey, talk to the manager, whatever the fuck it is you're doing, you know, um, instead of using the energy for that, what did I do? I used the energy to make my girlfriend feel better. I used that energy to now make this video that I'm making. I used that energy. I, cha I, I channeled that energy. I channeled all that in order to, you know, um, benefit me as opposed to, you know, as opposed to um, being negative towards me. So it's like, again, you know, that's, that's like how we all get to, you know, decide um, are, 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 are everything, you know what I mean? So for example, again, if I would have fucking um, blown off steam with the guy, blown off steam with like with the guy, first of all, I probably would have gotten kicked out of that store and never been able to go there again. If I would have been blowing off steam with my girlfriend, she's like, bro, why the fuck are you ruining my fucking day now over what this fucking guy did? Or making my day even worse, you know, because I experienced the same shit and now, you know, we're fucking reveling in this stuff, whatever. You know, there's like so many options, you know, but what what's the, what was the option that I chose? It's like, well, I still want to vent. I still want to blow off steam. I still want to get angry. I still want to do all these things. But what is the better way? What is the best way to possibly do that? And it's like very simple. I have my camera with me. All I got to do is turn it on and talk to you guys about it. Make an episode about it. Talk about it. Talk it out. You know, um, make myself feel better, make you guys feel better, and 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 turn this humongous. Uh, it wasn't even a huge thing; it was just a tiny thing. But just turning this negative into a huge positive, and it was all up to me. It really was. It really, 
had everything to do with me and how I chose to deal with that particular situation. And um, with just, you know, with that situation, there's many situations like that. All, you know, all the time in every aspect of your life. All, all the fucking time. As you're living your life, you know, you're, you're going to be encountering, you know, situations just like that. You just are. Hey guys, sorry about that. Camera turned off because it's so hot and humid. Shit, I didn't even make it close to 20 minutes that time. But anyways, um, so yeah, I mean, like I was saying, at the end of the day, um, you know, we're going to constantly be encountering these situations, these individuals all over the place. And it's just really up to you how you deal with it. Remember, how other people act towards you has nothing really to do with you. A good majority of the time, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them and how, you know, they deal with their life, you know, what they're dealing with, you know, what's going on with them, you know, how they treat people. It, it has everything to do with them. You know, a lot of times people are projecting things, you know, when they, you know, talk shit about you or say things about you or what have you, you know, like a lot of times it has really nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them and how they perceive the world, how they see the world, how they see you, how they, uh, everything, you know, it really has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you at all. So, you know, with that being said, you know wow look at that holy shit you know i mean i haven't walked through here in a while i want to say a month almost but wow look at that there was always construction going on there and look at look how they changed it up looks and looking nice very nice that's another thing too about living out here is the fact that you know there's so much growth happening all the fucking time it's like you know you, one day you're walking to a, a building that looks like this and then the next fucking day it looks like that and then before you know it there's fucking towers up there you know uh th throwing 5g's at your head so you know it's the way the cookie crumbles right <laughs> so so you know and again that's a perfect example to what we're talking about here you know which is change you know all of us are constantly going through change if you're watching this video or videos like this you know you yourself are going through change you know you might have been an individual out there that either at one point you know used to get affected by opinions of others or, the, or, 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 or how others treated you or others behaved and um, maybe right now you're in that transition where um, you're, you're realizing that that they have absolutely zero to do um, with you you know what I mean? Like, it's literally, like how they act, how they behave, how they everything. None of that has anything to do with you. Um, their opinion literally doesn't matter. Meaning the opinion of most people out there, 99% of them, it absolutely matters nothing. Because again, once it's all said and done, are you, do you, are you going to give a fuck about their opinion and who these people are? No, you're not. You're not. And they're not going to care about you either. So it's like a lot of us waste so much time on, on so much everything. You know, so much time and so much, so much bullshit that you know when you look when you look back on everything it's like what the fuck was i doing so again you know going back to just like getting in a fight with uh you know with a stupid employee at a stupid fucking uh little store what are you really gaining out of that you know what i mean nothing you're gaining absolutely nothing except fucking heartache all you're doing is just making your day worse most likely if anything you probably made his day better because you fucking blew up on him you made him fucking laugh you made him whatever you get what i'm saying so it's like you can never get sucked in into the misery or the, the bullshit or the fucking whatever the hell from other individuals. You just can't. And when you do, it's your fucking fault. 100%. It, it just is, you know? You have total control. You have total control. So a lot of times, like, if you, you know, for my, in my case, for example, if I get upset over a situation like that, it has nothing to do with me getting upset with that, you know, the situation. It's like just in retrospect, I'm just getting upset with myself because I allowed myself to fucking get sucked in. And it happens, bro. It happens to all of us. We're all, we're all, we're all human, you know? We're all like, you know, we all got our, our, our imperfections, you know? Um, and all that stuff. And so that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, um, that's why I like to do these videos. I like to... You know just talk about what's on my mind at the moment that's happening because you know i'm not perfect either and i'm not pretending to be perfect and uh and this is coming from a fucking virgo which is a fucking perfectionist but still that's not the point you know what i mean you know the point is is that you know we're all fucking human you know we're all in this together i put i put my fucking uh, pants on one leg at a time just like all of you guys out there and um you know it's, it's, that's all it is, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, really, it, it, all I'm doing is just sharing my thoughts, 
sharing how I deal with a lot of these things, sharing my knowledge, my wisdom. At the same time, trying to create this, uh, this little bit of an ecosystem, you know, with you guys, where we all get to share together and learn together and then build off each other and all that stuff. But, you know, just going back to, you know, the, the whole Motivational Monday thing and about other individuals out there. Oh, that's a new thing. It said bus demo on there. Anyways, what I was trying to get at was the point that, again, guys, you know, when shitty situations happen around you, meaning shitty individuals, you know, when you come across shitty individuals in life, which happen all the time, it has really nothing to do with you. Hey guys, sorry about that. Just insanely hot today. Another level of hot. This thing just keeps turning off. But to what I was just saying, just to finish the point so I can bring it full circle because I'm already almost home. The thing is, again, do not let other individuals out there, you know, um, dictate how you live your how you live your life. You know, meaning, don't let other people's attitudes, don't let other people's, uh, you know, bad. Uh, you know um you know bad attitude or you know just um bad behavior or just themselves don't let them ruin your day don't let them dictate your day don't let them fucking have any control over your life they 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 don't they, the only control that they have is the control you give them so don't don't do that anymore and um just you know be in control you be in control and uh, realize that when other people do shitty things it has nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with them and you'll be all right so all right guys i'm gonna end it because i'm already ending, getting close and there's music playing so before i finish don't forget to please like please subscribe please share um please hit that bell icon and more importantly than anything else don't forget to stay awesome i love you guys and uh peace out don't forget to check out the website check out the store check out all the cool stuff that i have for you guys all the links are down below and uh again i love you guys and i'll see you guys manana peace the underlying current when people write about you yeah is who the f is this guy? Yeah. I mean, you get that, right? Of course. Who the f are you? This is a word that is rarely talked about in our space that I want to start building more attention for. Self-awareness. I want to deliver on this message so much. I would create a test or a, or a drug that allowed people to become self-aware. One potion inject, not hustle, not smart, self-awareness. I don't fear being self-aware. I know I suck at a lot of stuff. I think everybody lies to themselves. Some people are meant to be B and C players and I'm pissed that the narrative now is that you need to be a number one and have your company because a lot of people are gonna lose or leave money on the table because th that's just the narrative. I'm such a positive guy. I'm, I struggle to think about the things I'm bad at but you know, self-awareness requires understanding both and then choosing which path you wanna go through. I'm a big fan of going all in on your strengths and don't give a fuck about what you suck at. Self-awareness isn't only just betting on your strengths, it's accepting all your shortcomings. Let me tell you one thing. What works for me does not necessarily work for you. I think being at peace with yourself and your skill set is such an important part of this. Too many people try to be like me because it's sizzly and it's sexy and people want to be charismatic and on stage. So many of you do so many things better than I do. You can look at like how people roll and like it's great to admire and things of that nature but it's so damn important to stick to like your DNA. Try to get to a place where you understand yourself and understand what your strengths are. You've gotta find your self-awareness. All your shortcomings are there for a reason. They're there to also allow you to be great. Deep in your brain, deep in your heart, you actually accept all those shortcomings is the second your life goes on the offense. I worry that people don't tap into their strengths. You have to audit who you actually are because then you're not gonna bullshit yourself. You're gonna story tell yourself, you're gonna motivate yourself, but you're not gonna bullshit yourself. And once you believe that, either for yourself or someone else told you, go directly, all chips, all into that. We've all got something and you just need to accept what's yours and go in on that. Then you've got a starting point to success. And so self-awareness at its finest is accepting your shortcomings and accentuating your strengths. Who the f are you? I'm an entrepreneur. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. 
it's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.